Hello everybody, um, how are you guys doing? It's your boy. Um, I am very, very, very excited for what I'm about to watch right now. I somehow managed not to get spoiled for anything um, for this trailer for the Batman. I don't have much to say. The I guess the only thing I want to say before we get into the trailer, because yes, we are going to watch it. And yes, I'm gonna react to it. And yes, it's good. It, it, I expect it to be nothing but hype. Um, the only thing I want to say is um, that it feels like it's been a long time since we've seen a Batman movie, uh, like a Batman proper movie, like a solo Batman movie. Because we did have the Dark Knight Rises, and I believe though that was like in 2014, 2015 ish. So it's been like five at least more than five years i gotta say um since we've seen batman on screen in his own movie again i, I say in his own movie in a, in a proper film only because you know we did get ben affleck in justice league and batman v superman um but it wasn't really like um they had plans to have like a film with ben affleck in it to star but it's it was just like it was it was talked about and then afterwards it just didn't didn't work out. But anyways, we are here now with Matt Reeves and Robert Pattinson playing the Cape Crusader himself. And as soon as they actually announced Robert Pattinson as the Batman, I was actually excited. At first, I was confused, but at the second, at, after thinking about it, I actually did get excited because Robert Pattinson, it, I I respect the the journey he has gone through as an actor after playing a a a a, a twinkle um star uh, um uh vampire in twi in twilight um uh, whatever the heck that was um uh, it's come full circle it has come full circle since then and now he's playing not a vampire but the man himself the batman and so I'm super excited for this. Um, I'm very curious to see more about this movie. We we know that there's going to be a lot of villains in it, a lot of characters in it. Um, it. It doesn't really get me worried as much as, like for example, Spider-Man No Way Home does, only because they are basing this off of the right, I think, lore, if you will, the right comic material, especially the long Halloween. Um Man, it's such a good story, The Long Halloween is, that uh, basing a movie off of it is just like it's long overdue. Um, there's so many other good Batman uh, stories as well that they can put in this, so I'm just excited. Matt Reeves is probably going to give us something good. I hope so. Enough talk. Let's just watch the trailer. Let's get it on. Oh, that's gotta be the red light. Yeah, the green. That's gotta be the green. It looks like the guy. It is. Okay. Fear is a tool. When that light hits the sky, it's not just a cold. That man looks so good. <laughs> Warning. That's Batman! <laughs> Yo! That 
shot on the scene at surface and it looks hot. Yo, the fuck? This boy is mad! This boy is mad! Hey, yo! Hey, yo, Batman! Batman gives no fuck! Yo, the walk! The way he just walked up to put that boy after the explosion, boy! This Batman gives no Yo! Yo, this, this looks tight! I, that left me kind of, I, it left me a little speechless. I, usually, like, I, usually I have stuff to say. I don't really know what to say. Uh, we got a lot of Penguin in there. Um, he's going to be a big driving force, I'm sure, for the first half of the movie. I don't know, man. I'm going to throw that out there. That maybe he's going to be a driving force for the first half of the movie. Maybe he's going to be one of the clues leading to the Riddler. And this whole story plot line is going to revolve around the Riddler. Uh, because it just feels like that's 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 the appropriate way to do it. Because um, the Riddler would be the one to tie everything together and force Batman into a, a corner. Um, this Batman looked tight, though. This Batman looked hard, dude. Oh, my goodness. Robert Pattinson's Batman, the way he was acting, guys. I don't know if if we're ready for this. This it looks like some top-tier cinema. I am... Oh, I'm so excited for this dude. I, <laughs> I'm tensing up. I'm smiling. I'm laughing. It's been a long time. Dude, I also just watched the Flash trailer. That was hot. And now I'm watching this. Bro. Oh, I'm so glad that DC is making movies. I'm so glad that they're making movies again. Because <laughs> I'm not going to say... I'm not going to say anything, but I mean, the last few I watched from DC, they've been alright. They've been alright. Not really... Nothing really crazy. Um... But Batman always delivers. I feel like every time we get a solo Batman movie, um, where they get like a direct, like a very auteur director like Matt Reeves, like Christopher Nolan, we're bound to get something different, something good, something, and they they understand the character because they know that it has to be gritty. It has to be gritty if it's Batman. If it's Batman, it can't be super campy. If it is campy, you got there's a fine line you're treading, and it's like an older, like the farther in the future we're going with Batman, the more gritty he is actually realistically, um, and that's what makes him very interesting when you oppose him to Superman, um, because they they Superman is a bit campy, but it, he's not overly campy, but he does expose Batman for being too serious at times. Um, but it, it, this movie revolves around him, about Bruce, around Batman, and so it has to be serious, it has to be dark, and Matt Reeves, bro, like, there's some shots in here that I was like, I don't know, if, I, I really don't know if we're ready for this movie, like, I am very hyped, dude, I am so excited for this, I, I don't know how, many, how, how else, like, ah, I don't know, I can't even speak, I don't know how else to express it. Uh, this is giving me real Christopher Nolan vibes. Not in the sense of like, oh, oh my goodness, they're doing the same thing as Christopher Nolan hype. No, it just gives me the same feeling that, again, we're getting a very specific direction from the director, um, the writers, and the actor, and it's a specific vision, and you can see it. It's pal palpable. And... I, I, I'm here for it. I think it looks dope. Matt Reeves always delivers when it comes to character arcs. Um, so I'm excited what he's going to do with Bruce. Um, where he's going to take him from this movie and onwards. I Man, I'm here for it. I'm hyped. But you guys let me know if you guys are as hyped as me. Or maybe Am I overhyping this trailer? Is the trailer just alright? Um, I think realistically, film-wise, film, film -wise, it looks great. Uh, but you guys might think otherwise. If you do, let me know. 
Um, if this is your first time watching a video with me doing a reaction or anything like that, just gonna let you know I'm not just doing this type of content. I do all types of different content. So stay for the ride, subscribe, like, do all them things, and um, I will catch all of you in the next video.